Hi there, welcome to the Bonnie Mon Studio. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie Mon and welcome to my studio. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to share my story on angel numbers and which angel numbers I'm seeing for the month of August. Before we get started, I did want to say thank you so much for my six subscribers on here. I can't believe this is happening. Like. I just started this YouTube channel just wanting to share my creative journey and now I'm going to share my spiritual journey I guess with you all. Yeah, I'm just so happy so thank you for wanting to come back and hang out with me if you're new here. I recently started a sketch diary series so if you're interested I have those videos and I did share my pin collection and more is to come, more is to come what I create here in my studio so yeah I'm super excited and yeah let's get into today's video sorry I washed my hair today and it's like drying but anyways okay so according to the astrology website if you're seeing 118, consider yourself lucky. This number carries powerful energetic and spiritual vibrations that can help you manifest your desires and fulfill your life's purpose. Number 118 is urging you to have faith in your abilities and trust the universe to guide you. The universe is sending you a message of encouragement and support and if it wants you to know that you are on the right path. Energies of 1 and 8 combine to create a high vibrational frequency that can help you attract your heart's desires. When you see this number, you're being encouraged to focus your thoughts and beliefs on your goals and dreams. Trust that the universe is supporting you in your manifestations and take inspired action towards making them come true. Okay. I'm going to read their biblical meaning. Associated with the notion of change and transformation, it's a reminder that we are all capable of change and that we should embrace new beginnings with an open heart and mind. This number is also a call to faith and trust in the divine plan and to let go of any fear or doubt that may be hindering our progress. Okay, so before I lose my thought, last week, I was seeing the number, numbers 555, and that number is about change, right? And hearing this one, we're all capable of change and we should embrace new beginnings with an open heart and mind. We should let go of any fear or doubt that may be hindering our progress. And my little board also says growth comes from change. You probably saw that in another video. That I recently posted. <sighs> I just don't know what this change is. I feel like I haven't been posting enough of my art and looking back on it like scrolling backwards I'm like why like it looks so good like I need to be like just consistently posting more. I just struggle posting more and just seeing like Let's say, also say, trust in the divine plan and let go of any fear or doubt that may be hindering our progress. I just doubt like this is like not going to work. I do want to feel like I can be a true artist. Back then, I wanted to be a fashion illustrator and right now I'm kind of like, do I do fashion illustration or do I work on my foodie art because I became really passionate with foodie art ever since I got laid off last year and I don't know what's next for me I really don't and this change and transformation I don't know if it's pertaining to my creative side of things or is it something else that's going needs to change <laughs> I'm just like torn. I don't know. The only things I've been truly trying to work on are making new art and just keep going, keep learning, 
and I feel like I'm learning a lot when I actually put the work into it and not letting fear get in the way so the negative me oh my goodness if you're stuck in a negative mindset or not working towards your goals could be a wake up call to change your ways it's a reminder that your thoughts and energy attract what you manifest and you need to focus on positivity to attract what you desire like how much more i've just been feeling so low and i know when i put the time and effort my art comes out really good so i don't know i haven't been in the mood to draw foodie art but then i see many foodie artists on the socials and it's so exciting to see like their own art style and it just gets me inspired so thank you if you're a foodie artist or an artist in general like your art does matter and i wonder if someone feels the same way about my art so i want to be positive i want to trust in my guardian angels the whole reason why i believe in angel numbers is because of them i know they're trying to support my journey and get me through this beautiful life that i have and i know this change is a good one it's always good change even though i'm terrified of change but yeah i thought i'd pop on here and share that let's see what other angel numbers i get to see especially because already it's gonna be august it's insane so let's see what other numbers i see until then okay i'm back with another angel number i haven't seen this number 211 <laughs> i have gotten this angel number before just really don't remember so we're gonna dive deeper into that right now okay so on pinterest 211 means I love you right here there are many blessings coming your way if you're going to challenging times don't worry the angels are preparing you to give you beautiful things that will make your life full of love and happiness you're entering a phase where everything is going to fall into place 211 is a sign that wants you to know that all of your desires are about to come true if you keep concentrating on what it is exactly you want then you will be in for a very pleasant surprise get ready because your life is about to change for the better <laughs> okay so now just through a search i like to use tiny rituals i think i used that in the last one and let's see angel number two is synony synonymous with love, balance, partnerships, and serving your higher soul mission. Angel number one is linked with fresh starts, new beginnings, freedom, leadership, and personal progress. The number 11 is a master number that's luminous with the energy of divine guidance and the bigger picture thinking. Together, these numbers suggest the shift or an opening of the heart that will serve your greater good. Okay, I'm gonna look further. Okay, I keep seeing something about it being connected to spiritual growth and personal development. This number is related to finding your true path and enjoying an awakened perspective as you move through this world and toward a brighter future. It serves as a sign of encouragement. Even if you're experiencing challenging Times, this number should be a sign of hope that core energies are working in your favor and that divine intervention will soon lead you out of turbulent waters. Keep an optimistic outlook and know that cycles of experience can be invaluable sources that help us level up when it comes to finding our divine life path. Also, it's linked to the power of change. Crazy how like last time it was 555 which was a number all about change. So for this, it says, seeing these digits flash up can mean that something new is set to come into your life, which will change things. While many of us resist to change, 
It's helpful to know that this change is for the best and will lead you to significant personal growth and put you on the path to spiritual journey you are meant to take. From a spiritual perspective, change is always good and the number can be an angel sign that there are beautiful times ahead. Okay, so lately, I've been trying to stay positive. I even have my grandpa's rock here. He is an angel of mine and I always use it like as a little worry stone. So I like to rub it and just like, uh, whenever I feel like I'm worrying or I'm being a little negative or I'm trying to stay positive and stay hopeful. I think, you know, like all my crystals help me, but like really when I'm trying to connect to like my angels above, I use this rock, so um, very special to me. Anyways, so with 211, just seeing this one, it's crazy because like I see in the microwave and whenever I'm cooking or just glance at the time and oh, it's 211. So that's where I've been seeing that number, but I've been seeing it on and off and on and off. So just hearing about it like change and stay hopeful what else did it say oh like my spiritual journey start something new i don't know exactly what though like what am i gonna start something new maybe it's this like talking about what i've been seeing angel numbers and how do they like connect with me and maybe they connect with you too but for me, I've been feeling lately like trying to stay hopeful. I I think this will probably be like my eighth video on here. I'm not sure. I'll put here what number I'm at. But I recently just posted my sixth video, which was another sketchy sketch video, which I was super excited to do. But I've just been feeling a little down, like am I not enough and I hate thinking that way but I don't know I'm just a very like anxious person and I don't I just don't know how to feel I'm trying to like get over that hill be like no stay hopeful stay positive and I'm like I'm trying my best but like my thoughts just like oh, it's just start thinking too much though Anyways, um, but that was really nice to hear about this angel number. I will see what else I dive into, like what other things I can do for my spiritual journey. Okay, another angel number I've been seeing is 222. Probably a common number and you probably already know what it is, but this number is for alignment. Alignment? Balance? Am I right? <laughs> So on Pinterest, if I were to put two to two, alignment, yep. Okay, stop worrying, everything is working out just as it's supposed to. Trust that you are on the right path. Right place, right time, trust in what you want. Don't think of things you don't want when you see this number. It's crazy, it kind of relates to 211, right? Yeah. So, at least, you know, I got that reassurance that I'm on the right path because sometimes I feel like oh like am I what am I even doing like why do I even want to be a youtuber <laughs> why do I want to share what I have to share like these sketches and this angel numbers and my life why do I want to share that so much I feel like everyone has their own story like you do have a story like you should be able to tell it one day you know the rise and the falls and the doubts and the worries and the pain and even if you're not able to tell your story exactly that person up there knows he always knows so it's really nice to feel like oh, like I'm not alone so just these angel hearing all these angel numbers just reassures me so and I hope me doing this reassures you. And if you're barely starting out angel numbers, like seeing angel numbers, you're not alone. I started seeing these when I was younger and I think I'm probably gonna tell you my story. 
in the beginning of this or at the end. So it would be really nice to know that I'm definitely not alone that a bunch of you all are seeing these angel numbers too. Because obviously like 111, 1111, 222, like all those are like very common. But like 211, I mean, I was getting 123. There's like a bunch of new numbers too that I've been seeing. So I'll keep you posted and how they relate with me in my journey, in my life. 222 is a common number, so there's not really much to say about it. I mean, you're in alignment, you're on the right path, keep going, <laughs> you're doing fine. <laughs> so, let's see what other angel number I get this month, but for now. <laughs> okay, I've been seeing angel number 123. I've gotten this angel number before, but it's been a while, so let's see what that's all about. Okay, on Pinterest, angel number 123 means continue to maintain balance, embrace new beginnings, and communicate with others. Uh, let's see if there's another one. Mm -hmm. I don't really see much on here, so I'm going to look it up. on google okay 123 signifies that you're on the right track towards personal growth it indicates the universe's support for your journey towards self-improvement and encourages you to keep moving forward such good news mm, okay on my favorite spot tiny rituals so last time we talked about angel number one what it means Fresh starts, brand new beginnings, and big leadership energy. Number two is all about harmony, balance, love, and working together. Angel number three is a master builder number. Okay, so seeing one, two, three together. New beginnings. There's a fresh, there's a fresh start at hand. This number can show up when you're about to turn a page and usher in a new chapter of your life and should be seen as a good sign. While change can be overwhelming, your, sp your spiritual guides want you to know that this change is for the better and will help you scale up your spiritual ladder and get you closer to where you want to be. It's crazy because the angel number reading before this one was all about a new beginning. And we've also been talking about change, which is another one, positive change. Along with new beginnings, the angel number also points out positive change and personal growth. For those who have been in a tight bind or who feel like life isn't giving them lemons, this number can let you know that positive change is at hand and you're on the right path. That's crazy. We were talking about change because I've been getting 555, which I talked about in another video it's crazy like change change is coming so i also had said that i didn't know when the change was coming so it seems like the new beginning is just around the corner it also says moving forward could be a sign of forward momentum and moving into a new phase of life it can be a sign to leave old tales and baggage behind and to move forward with a clear mind and a clear heart mm -hmm. this number can be a sign of expanding powers and moving up Keep tapping into that intuition, embracing healing work, and protecting your energy as you move forward. <laughs> okay. And it could also be a sign to let go of fear and self-doubt. I talked about it in the previous number. I feel like my anxiety leads to fear and self-doubt. So I try and not worry so much. I try not to think about it. Kind of just let it go away. And then I also talked about my special rod. Okay, just the last thing I want to say, because I just read this, be intentional with your choices, keep your gratitude practices so you stay connected to positive energy and know that your angels are supporting your decisions and hard work right now. It's just so beautiful to hear that. I feel like I've been trying to put all this effort into my socials, I hope that one day my hard work does pay off. I keep trying to 
implement new ideas and just keep learning and keep growing and just like keep leveling up like and if you feel like you're down there like you're gonna get there we're all gonna get there we're in this together so i think that's all i'm gonna say about that one two three i this might be the last of the angel numbers we'll see there's a couple more days left in august and we'll see what happens for the rest of the month, but for now... <laughs> okay, well, that's it for all the angel numbers I have been seeing for the month of August. I'm sorry that I had crazy hair throughout the whole video. I'm so sorry. It's been so hot lately, and it's uncontrollable. <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry that you had to see all that, but I hope that these angel numbers were helpful if you had been seeing them too. Now I wanted to talk about my final thoughts with all these angel numbers because looking back while I'm editing this video, it's crazy to see how they all relate to each other. So like I was seeing number 118, to help fulfill my life's purpose, urging me to have faith, sending encouragement and support, telling me I'm on the right path, embracing new beginnings, and to let go of fear and doubt. And then we had 211, which was many blessings were coming my way. Everything's going to fall into place. Keep concentrating on what I want. Your life is going to change for the better. Finding your true path, a sign of hope, linked to power of change, and something new is coming. So like already with those two numbers, like something new is coming, new beginnings, like my angels are supporting me. And then of course we got 222, which was very random. I rarely get this number. And when I do, I really take it to heart because it's a number of alignment. It's telling me I'm not on the right path, right place, right time. You know, everything is working out the way it's supposed to. I had to write this down because I just forget so easily. And of course the last number was 123. Continue to maintain balance, embrace new beginnings. There's a fresh start ahead, changes for the better. Move forward with a clear mind and heart and protect your energy. Let go of fear and doubt. So it's, it amazes me how they all just align together. I'm just gonna keep moving forward, keep trying my best to be creative. Right now, I've just been into a foodie art on my iPad through Procreate, and like I said, there's more to come. I do want to get back into knitting and crocheting. I know the fall slash winter season is already coming up, so I think I have a few ideas what I want to do there too. Let's see how this spiritual journey goes for me. I know this was a wild card to just like throw out there a random angel number video, but I think it's time to share that. So if you're also seeing angel numbers, please let me know which ones you're seeing. And I think it'd be nice to build like this little community. And yeah, but I thought I'd share my little angel number journey story for this month. And I think if this one does really well, I'll do another one for the month of September thoughts let me know but yeah i hope you all have a lovely day thanks for coming to hang out with me yeah see you in the next one bye